you're going to see what I mean, what he's doing here. I know that's going to give us a copyright strike. We can then edit it later. So uh, anyway, he begins by saying, I hate the act of abortion, not the people who've had an abortion. I am not here to judge people's choices or offense. Offensive. I am. Offensive. And be offensive. I am here to be to publicly defend the voiceless and the defenseless. Jesus. Let's take a listen. I hit that third stage. I thought I was straight. I'm such a good baby. Kept my womb straight. Tears rushing down mama's face. Can't see her yet, but I can hear her say it. She don't want me now. God, you hear my mama pray. I'm alive, mama. I'm not dead, but I'll die, mama, if you take those meds. Don't be deceived. I'm already breathing. I'm begging, please don't take my breath. It's life or death, not right or left. Keep playing with sex, and that's what we risking. Then we play God, try to redefine life's definition. Oh no, here we go, numbers still climb. Every year they grow since Roe verse weighed 60 million. Y'all don't hear me though. So here we go to Planned Parenthood. Yeah, it's all good. They got you covered. Sorry, wasn't a part of your plan. Sorry, you ain't trying to be my mother. Is it cause I made you throw up? Cause I kicked your stomach so much. Is that why I don't get to grow up? Is that why it's time for me to go, huh? Still wanna be the life of the party, so my life's the party. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Cause all I really want is to live. There's other options. What about adoption? For God's sakes, I'm a child, not a hostage. And this ain't negotiable, and it damn sure ain't reversible. If you're pregnant, then I'm alive, so how is that not murder, though? If I was there to say it, I'd say you hate me. Have you read the abortion totals lately? 3,000, that's on the day. We're so numb, the lives that we take. We make love with no gloves. They get away with murder like OJ. What if your life wasn't pro-life and you had no life? Is that okay? Hell no. Heaven help us. Getting crucified to help the helpless. But if you were dying, you want to help, so it's a double standard you sell us. And I'm tired of staying voiceless, but the lie that life's a choice since the choice is being made for babies is voiceless. And that's dead wrong. And we've been wrong for too long. Man, hold on. Let's talk about it. Just the fact that we can talk about it means there ain't nothing else to talk about. I'm alive to say, thank God I wasn't aborted. And I'll die for I support it. Cause all I really want is to live. And with all respect, that ain't your choice to choose. Cause last time I checked, it's my life we lose. So God forgive us, please. Word is you coming soon. Till then I'm on my knees for all these wombs becoming tombs. Woo. Wow. That was powerful. I know. I know. That's powerful and it was true. It's true. Can the baby talk? Some somebody. There's a mm -hmm. voice for the baby here. Yeah, and people are saying, "What do you mean you're talking for the silent? They don't talk. They're not even real. They're like basically they're not yeah, life know. yet." Yeah. Mm -hmm. What he said is so true. It's, true. it's irreversible. Yeah. If you're pregnant, that equals life. Yeah. That means there has been a seed. Yeah. That uh, there has been a connection. There has been life mm -hmm. that is being. Yeah. They can feel pain. That's growing in your body. Yeah, they can feel pain. They go through distress. That's wild. That it's, it's, just it's wild moment. that people yeah. just see it. I, and it just doesn't make sense to me that people see it as their choice mm -hmm. when there are babies. And I'm, I just am wondering, because even before I aligned my life with Christ, mm. I just knew abortion was wrong. So why did you think abortion was okay? That's what was the question that I had when you said I thought it was okay. Oh, I just never thought of it. It's just one of those things you need to think through. It's more like, ah, it is what it is. People do whatever they want, which is the very same punchline a lot of pro-abortion will have. Mm -hmm. Most people that are pro-abortion are really not pro-abortion. They are really pro-life. They're more like, I can't, people can make their choice. I don't want to get into people's business. But yeah, when they know what abortion what is about, like yeah, when they, have, when they know what abortion is about, they're like, oh, no. So I'm one of those guys who was acting based on my ignorance. It's not because I thought it was a good thing. Oh, okay. I just, never I just didn't know. I never really looked it up. Yeah, that's yeah. early in my Christian experience. Somebody was like, nah, I mean, you don't, you need to make a stand on this. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, that is powerful. Um, yeah, I think it, we're alive. it, it just, um, yeah. um, so, Wicked City 
So, I'm watching Kid City, and Kid City had, they're playing basketball, and LeBron James is LeBron James. in basketball. Really? LeBron James? Yeah. Yeah. He knows about LeBron James already. <laughs> what did he, he said he something watched, the other day he, about LeBron James. He watched um, the movies that LeBron James made. Where's Megan at? Megan. <laughs> she says me. <laughs> Please, you can revamp this house. We got to get out the basement and get upstairs with them, with him. <laughs> so, yeah. um, wow. So, guys, that's what Ooh, Mr. About. E, that is, I would say, hmm, good idea. When I was 12, my mom caught me with a cigarette, maybe smoke a whole pack. Maybe if some pro-choice population is made to sit through a live abortion, that would change some minds. You wow. hit a good point. Experience is our best teacher, right? That's right. Sometimes. Yeah. We don't have to experience. Actually, it's not our best teacher. Yeah. Other people's experiences should be our best teacher. Yeah. But since we're so stubborn, yeah. experience can often be our best teacher. Yeah. Because we've it truly is because we've experienced it. And now we have a connection with whatever the issue is. Uh, I agree. Good point. Our uh, next live stream, Mr. E, we're going to bring, uh, we're going to talk about Abby Johnson's video. Somebody on my Discord sent that to us and we want to uh, do that. It's 30 something, 40 minutes long. So we have to go through, I think it's with Crowder. She had a, an interview. So Abby Johnson was running an abortion clinic, speaking out a little bit about what really goes on in there. It's something to listen to. It's, you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> She's the she's the one who did the movie Unplanned too. Yeah. Um, I want to say Mr. Blackie because I can't pronounce your first name. Kane, Kane, is that how you say it? Kind of put it in there and tell us how to say your name because Blackie is just a strong word. But Mr. Um, K, um, KB, KB, mm. yeah. So I meant to highlight this one. And this I've heard oftentimes when I was doing my report, it's true. They sell uh, aborted baby parts on the uh -huh. black market. I heard that. Mm -hmm. What is used for medicine purposes and different things as well. Yeah, but yeah. still. Mm -hmm. still. Still is wrong. Yeah. So it's a business. It, this, mm -hmm. it, and that's what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. This is another form of how to gain money, mm -hmm. how to it increase is. wealth. It is. Um, the yeah. founding fathers intentionally separated the executive, legislative, and judicial branches with only the legislative being able to pass laws. A legislative is elected by the people. Judici judicials are not. And mm. that's just the black and white, why the that's Supreme right. Court took it out of their control. That's right. But I think there's still a bigger picture here. Again, like someone else said too, like there's more division, more mm. to create because we are, we're moving through different seasons and phases. Mm. So this is another division that I'm pretty sure... I really believe they all knew what's going to take place. So while there's always some positive, there's still some, mm. they still have a plan. But the beautiful thing that we know is God always wins. God At already won. At the end. And so when we just sense. understand victory has already been won. That's right. It is what it is. That's right.